Hey there, StarCraft fans! It's Falco Paladin coming at you with yet another edition of StarCraft 2 Legacy of the Void. Today, it's going to be Raynor versus Bion from ESL Summer Masters. Bottom left going to be Bion, top right going to be Raynor. We're on Ancient Cistern. All right, Bion, are we going to start it off with a, a three racks opening? Hmm, no, I don't feel like he is based on where he's walling here, but maybe it's going to be a three Reaper opening with like two racks or something. Because he likes to do that lately. All right, man. So Raynor knows that. So he's going to search for proxies with Terry the Overlord here and the other Overlord that is unnamed. And uh, I think he's going to be ready for it, right? Right. So getting that gas. Hatch first in it. Not worried about the pressure coming. And yeah, so it's going to be a two racks opener with Reapers. Into expansion. Because I don't feel like he can kill Raynor with this little two racks uh, Reaper opening. Spawning pool on the way. We've got a uh, gas on the way here. Hard wall, as usual, from Bion. And we've got a Reaper. The first Reaper's name is going to be Ethan Hunt. Looking for his next mission impossible. Thank you, Rocket. I do appreciate the Reaper name. I am going to go to the new mission impossible once it, uh, once it releases here. Mission Impossible movies are good, right? None of them are super duper duper excellent, but they cross the threshold of good. Except for maybe the one, maybe Mission Impossible 2? With the weird motorcycle battle with doves all over the place. What is that director? This has been bugging me. Mission Impos Impossible 2. Reaper shows up. We're going to do a dance. We're going to do a Reaper Ling Queen dance. Oh, it's John Woo. That's right. John Woo's the guy that loves the doves. He's like this big stylistic action director, big in the 90s. And then I think he's kind of just fallen off the board here. So, I don't know. Cool guy. Pretty successful career, I would say. But yeah, this Reaper stuff, it's just a dance. I mean, there's just nothing else. Nothing else to say about it here. There's no way Rainer's going to take game-ending levels of damage at all whatsoever. Right? The queens are fine. A couple lings are going to die, but that's totally doable. Totally not a problem. And yeah, keeping the Reapers alive like Bionni's doing, an elite Terran player can do this. No problem. Yeah, John Woo, Hong Kong filmmaker. Known for Face Off in 97. Hard Boiled in 92. Uh, I think he did a couple Jet Li movies as well, if I remember correctly. I think The Killer is a Jet Li movie. I could be wrong about that. Hard Target with John claude Van Damme. Broken Arrow in 96 with John Travolta and Christian Slater. Look at me just talking about John Woo movies while Bion's having some absolutely okay. All right. That was insane. Remember when I was like, we're not going to get game-ending damage here. 12 lings and a drone killed. Nothing has died from Bion. That is disgusting. I mean, again, it doesn't mean that Bion's going to win the game, but it definitely puts him ahead. Ah, oh, Creep Tumor's getting all snippety snipe there, too. These are speed lane. Okay, one of the Reapers died. Two of the Reapers died. All right, so the Reapers are dead now. But it did force Raider to make more lings than he wanted to. He lost 15 lings, and then he had to make more to replace them. He's got seven of them. He didn't want to make that many lings in the early stages of a TVZ. But, ah, so now he has to use the lings to try to do stuff, but it's a hard wall, and there's Marines behind it, and it's just like... Nah, nah, nah. Bion's got a second base rolling. Raynor's third base is delayed. Yeah! Combat shield's coming in. Bion, he is ahead. Although Terrans these days are having a pretty good time against Zergs. Tell you what. And against Protoss, too, but... Yeah, Terrans have a lot of good success in Premier Tournaments. Like the GSLs, like the ESL Premier Tournaments, like Katowice six months ago. 
Not all the time, right? Not going to tell you that they've won everything, but... Terran feeling pretty good with this current patch, and I've yet to see somebody really articulate what it is. Like, Ghost got nerfed. I mean, it's not that Ghosts are still incredible, or they got buffed or anything. They technically got nerfed. So I don't understand it. Maybe they're just getting that much better with their mid-game timings that Zerg players can really struggle to deal with. Even if they shut it down, they can take that damage. That the Terran can just roll and ride on into the future, into that mid to late game, right? Yeah. Tastelope has been <laughs> programmed to run away from enemy units, or from army units. Yeah, Queen down. Yeah, this is very classic young stuff here. Yeah, Lings, no. Queen down. Queen down. Oh, boy. Drones getting killed here. This is bad news, bears for Rainer. The Banelings are slow. Ooh, okay, got a couple. All right, there we go. A couple connections. Woof, that Marine army got wiped out. But eight more drones died, and four queens have died. <laughs> Rainer cannot be happy about this opening. Not even close. He didn't lose his third base, which might, might have been game ending. But as it stands, man, where is the centrifugal hooks? He needs speed for Banelings. He's got a lair. He's going for Overlord speed, which is cool. There it is. Centrifugal hooks is getting started. Everybody always forgets you get extra 5 HP with the centrifugal hooks upgrade. It's not just a speed upgrade. It makes them be a tiny bit tankier, but I don't know. It doesn't really matter. Like, do you have to take an extra couple hits from the 10 Marines firing at you before you die when you have centrifugal hooks? No. Not how it works. Rainer's creep spread is fantastic. There you go. Looking good. Getting a fourth base here too. Third base built inside the main end. Going to land down here with this link scouting at four. Beyond. I eight. Ooh, dropper lord. Baneling dropper lord play. He's going to wait for Baneling speed before he goes in. Oh, that link. Distract. Distract the marines. Good job. So now the fast overlord with drops is going to sneak on in. You remember when you could just upgrade drops? for overlords and every overlord he ever had had the drop capability and it was awesome yeah that was great all right so yeah we're just gonna load slow banelings directly into beyond's base what's his reaction time gonna be here ah perfect i mean no kills whatsoever just sees the dropper lord immediately evaxed a lot of lost mining time really nothing lost here for rainer so pff, sure i guess he had to pay to get this turned into a dropper lord that doesn't he's gonna try to draw no <laughs> Noop, Ling's going, ah, oh, the run by, the distracted run by into the natural base. There are Marines here, but not enough to handle these Ling's. Reinforcing Marines do show up, though. That's nice. This group gets massacred. Rainer all over the place here inside. Oh, drop it on the third base. I don't know. I guess there's not enough targets. Oh, and all of the confusion trying to drop over here. All right, at this point, he has to commit. Uh-oh, Byun, Byun. No! 11 SCVs go down. He didn't pull the boys that time. He's too busy microing up inside the main base of Rainer. Picking up when Lings and Banelings show up. This has been chaos. It's been an abject chaos experience from both of these players so far. Beyond's third base is alive. He's got some medevac stuck in no man's land. Or no uh, woman's land, I guess. Medevac pilots. I guess there's dudes in there too, though. Whatever. Everyone's involved up here. They're, uh, they are not... Uh, not escaping. Escape. Oh, hang on, hang on. Was that bait? Was he like, hey, you can load over here? Oh, you can't. Yeah, coming down the... I guess just come down this right side. That should be fine to escape with. Is he trying to escape is the question. We did see the Widow Mines coming out here, so now that's a concern. Nice. Oh, the Unburrow was better. The un oh, the snipe there was good, too. Coming off. Creep. Widow Mines firing on. Couple Banes. Not a major connection there, but okay. Better than nothing at all. And the Widow Mine stays alive. Three kills. Fourth base. Nope. Fifth base. And oh, trying to drop in that main again. Here goes Bion. Dropping in that main. Hydroling Bane seems to be on the menu here for Rainer. He's trying to get the creep down to where he can put the spore into a point where he can get vision on this Widow Mine because I think he knows it exists. He just can't kill it. Because of the Armeria. Another race on the way from Beyond. No big surprise. Dropping back inside the main. Couple dudes die. Most of them escape again. Escape. Ah, uh, Bades are speed on creep. No engagement. Pull out. Everybody pulling back. Dropping again in the main base. Ling's a little bit late on the response, but 
enough of them again. And the queen almost gets a medevac there. So drones, man. 11 drones killed. Not a ton in the first nine minutes. Not really enough to stop Rainer. That is dead airspace. Queen range is amazing. Can't reach these medevacs. Not good enough. Make queen range air range better. And every Protoss and Terran was like, no. Don't say that. Yeah, wings, bins. Ah. Yeah. Fine. Totally fine, I guess. Beyond continuing just to kind of... Oh, gosh. That meta... No. Attack. There it is. Focus fire the medevac that was almost dead. Murdered it. Good positioning on these marines, but too many lings, dude. Oh, stutter step it up the right side. Widow mine not firing on that hydralisk. That's pretty good. The bailings show up. It is time to evacuate. I think that's another word that came from French. Why is French on my mind so much right now? Oh, medevac down. Spores. I mean, the medevac is dead. Not much can unload there. Oh, unloaded into Bailings there. Widowmine ends up getting one kill. Oh, that Widowmine gets nine total kills. Drop up here at the third base, focusing. No, no, Bailing connections cannot take down the hatch, but I think a future attack is going to be successful there. This has been a crazy match. I mean, these two players, absolutely, positively. That's what we're talking about here. Multiple attacks all over the place. Drops happening everywhere. Bion is just an absolute master. I'm gonna actually post this on the Brood War channel just to show the Brood War fans that StarCraft 2 is not all about giant balls of A move, which they all seem to think, and they're very wrong about that. Oh, couple of bailing hits there. Nothing too nuts, unfortunately. What do we got over this way? Coming in, queen down, my god. Oh, focus the hatch. Why are you not focusing the hatch? He remembers the hatch, there we go. Got it. Fourth base down. Bion has been pressuring Rainer so hard in this game. It is not even fun for any Zerg player to watch this. They're just like, Ugh, my heart. This is what happens though when you don't get a Spire against a Terran player. They're gonna show up everywhere. Their medevacs aren't gonna die to anything. Okay, there were a couple medevacs that died. We saw those. Good positioning behind the minerals there, but the bailings, oop, and now the Hydra's do an okay job killing those medevacs, but come on. Come on. Hydra's alone with the high ground. Oh, with the bailing support, gonna do pretty well there, but without the bailing support, not gonna do super hot. Got ourselves a missile attack, level two on the way. But yeah, those of you who are watching this and are like, ah, oh, I thought Falcon stopped casting StarCraft 2. Nope. It's on my other channel. I'll put a link to it in the description. It's my StarCraft 2 only channel. YouTube.com slash chat Falcon Paladin SC2. Another attack up towards this fourth base. I don't know. Hydras are good, but without the Baneling support, there's not a lot of Baneling support here. They do not trade super well. Attack down to the south going on at the same time. That one's retreating. Beyond's retreating up north as well. And beyond just expanding, dude. Expanding all over the place. More medevacs, more widow mines, more marines. That's all we gotta do here. Ghost Academy coming in for the Terran player. Zerg is up 83 to 66 workers, which is, I mean, just a testament to how good Raynor is at recovering from worker losses. He might be the best Zerg player in the world at that. Widow mine. Ah, oh, one ling. Beautiful split there from Raynor. And Rainer on the counterattack, kind of. I don't feel like this is going to go too much further. And the Widow Mines are just being accounted for so well by Rainer today. Not perfectly, but about as good as you can expect, honestly, in a match against somebody as good as Byun is. See, on the chase. Where are your Banelings? Oh, man, these Hydra. Hydra damage output. Pretty nuts. Almost kind of feels like a current meta shift in TBZ and Brood War, where Hydras are more often used against this bio composition from Terran with a little support from Spellcasters, which we're not seeing here today from Rainer. I'd like to see some fungal on these dudes. You can chase them much more easily with that fungal. I like that the Marauders are here, but the Hydras trade exceptionally well versus the Marauders. Up, swinging up on a flank on that right side. Hyder's pulling back to the high ground, trying to stay alive. I don't know. Without two Banelings, one Diesel. Okay, huge Baneling connection there. 
That actually is enough to keep Rainer alive during this assault. More Widow Mines being burrowed at the front here. Overseers wandering in. So the Widow Mines don't catch the Zerg player by surprise here. He's got a Lurker Den on the way. So Lurkers are going to be in play here, but he doesn't have to use it. Hive coming in as well. I cannot believe Rainer has been able to tech up and macro up as well as he has under this consistent harassment and pressure from Byun. Byun knows you let Rainer sit back and macro, you're gonna die. And this is as well as I've ever seen a Terran player do. And just continuing to be aggressive for the f f 15 minutes, first 15 minutes of a match. Lurkers are morphing in. Here they be. Seismic Spines on the way. Lurker, a range upgrade coming in here. That's a massively important upgrade. Rainer expanding down the right side. Bianca expanding up the left side. And just Marauders, Marines, Medivacs, Widow Mines. Going to Planetary Fortress up. His base is... This one's going to be a Planetary. The fourth one's not, which is a little bit interesting. We've seen a bit of a shift away from that as well. Another attack. Rainer seems to be more on the aggressive side down at the south, but he can't quite complete that. Getting up this ramp has been tough for him, but now that he's got Lurkers, maybe. Bjorn wandering in to the third base location. Lurkers trying to burrow in here. No ghosts to deal with them. Just Marines and Marauders. Ghosts are getting target fired. Ghosts are down. Base is going to die. Rainer's got to pull back to try to save what he can here. Ten more drones get killed. Hatchery. Focus the hatch. Get the hatch. Got the hatch. Oh, man. Beyond's up 180 to 150 supply. Uh, trickling in. Okay. Overstim units. Bidlings. <laughs> Beyond is playing out of his mind right now. Every queen that dies. Every drone that dies. Oh, he's going to focus the hatch again. I always say, if you can kill 10 hatcheries... In a TVZ as a Terran, you're gonna be okay. He's got three of them. Three is not ten, but he's really crippled this economy a lot. Income has been favoring Rainer over the last ten minutes, but creeping back down into Bion's side of it with the quick death of these two bases. It's understandable. And the number of drones that have died as well. Okay, that group just kind of gets lost, didn't they? 35 drones have died. Bion down to the south. I don't know if Rainer has it in him to come back after losing yet another hatchery in quick succession. Yes, you can rebuild drones quickly if you're Rainer, but rebuilding hatcheries is just... You can only build them as fast as they build, you know? I guess that's true for drones as well. Whoa, that was a split attempt. Nine kills on that, Widow Mine. Mm, Rainer trying to buy time by using Lurkers to zone Bion out down this right side. Lings check to see Bion doesn't have this base. He does. Income favoring Bion pretty heavily now. It's, uh, more than about a, well, okay, about a thousand resources per minute more pouring into the coffers of Bion. And Rainer struggling, rebuilding, rebuilding, not the rebuilding. There's a Widow Mine preventing that anyway on that right side base. Good job scouting out Widow Mines. Ghosts. I was not seen any snipes here today. Oh, good surround. Good, good surround. Checking to make sure do we have adrenal. Oh, no. Oh, flink attack. Surprise attack from the top side. Raider evacuating, running. Good split there. He doesn't have adrenal glands. No, I know you don't have a ton of lings. Oh, gosh. Widow Mine's just doing so much damage. It's double the army supply right now for Byun. Rainer trying to overexpand to make up for it. No. That base gets canceled. That counts as a dead base. This base is uh, in a lot of trouble. Dude, adrenal, though. Hmm. I just, I don't, I don't see it. I think, yeah, these lurkers tried to come over and get something done. No. Said Yon and GG. <laughs> Bion, yeah, absolute monster. What a game from him. That's what he's capable of, ladies and gentlemen. He will make your Zerg sweat for 18 straight minutes. Opening with that Reaper, that three Reaper opening that killed, what, 12, 15 lings? And a couple, like three or four creep tumors and a drone. Insane opening. And he just followed it up. More pressure, ended up killing five hatcheries. 45 drones, only lost 12 SEVs today, mostly to that Baneling drop inside of his main base. Natural base, I think, took the brunt of that. 
But 37,000 resources lost for Raynor, 25,000 resources lost for Bjorn, incredibly cost efficient. All he made today were Widow Mines, Medivacs, Reapers, Marines, and Marauders. He didn't actually finish producing any ghosts. That's amazing. Who needs ghosts to defeat our Zerg opponents, Terrans, right? Yeah, and this is, I do feel like this is a mistake that more and more Zergs are making, is if it's a drop-heavy play, 16 medevacs, 6, okay, 16 died, 6 left, okay, so we made 22 medevacs today. If there are medevacs running all over the place, dropping on you, and you can't kill them, because you don't have a spire, no mutas, no corruptors whatsoever, I just feel like that's a problem. I mean, look, killing 16 medevacs is really impressive without a spire. That's nuts from Rainer. That is really well played by him. But 500 lings died, and none of them had adrenal. 16 lurkers died. I don't think the lurkers paid for themselves at all in this game. That is a lot of investment into lurker, and I, I do not think they paid for themselves in the tiniest bit. Not even a little. So nice, fantastic TVZ from ESL Summer. Well done. And uh, yeah, if you want more StarCraft 2 action from Falcon Paladin, check him out on his YouTube channel where he does StarCraft 2. <laughs> uh, check it out. And if you just like the Brood War stuff, stay here. This is where the Brood War is going to continue to be. I'm just going to post one of these every once in a while and just remind people that I do StarCraft 2 over on the other channel because sometimes people get lost. Anyway, good stuff. Great stuff. Uh, truly great stuff from Beyond. This is why we love Beyond. He will do this. He will look unstoppable. He's not. He loses games from time to time, but uh, unstoppable. Remember at the start of the game when I was like, man, Beyond, he's opening with this three Reaper stuff that he does all the time. Rainer's going to be ready for it. And then Beyond just executed it so well, it didn't matter. That's what I love. <sighs> All right, there we go. So that is going to be it for me today. This has been Falcon Paladin coming at you with yet another edition of StarCraft II Legacy of the Void. Go ahead, hit that like button, hit that subscribe if you like what you saw and what you heard today. You can also catch me on Twitter, Facebook, Patreon, and Twitch, all at slash Falcon Paladin. And until next time, as always, thank you so much for watching, and you take care of yourself.